What is competitive programming? That thing I have already discussed in one of my previous video. It is a kind of sport in which you write programs to solve given problems. That thing I have already discussed. You can check out that video in the side button. But why competitive programming? What is the benefit of doing competitive programming? Is it just a competition to win or something else? What you will get once you are into, into in this field, competitive programming field? Whether it is going to help you to get a good job? All the things I am going to discuss in this video, right? But before that, just want to tell you one thing. An academy is also in this field now. An academy in collaboration with God Chef has started a course to learn competitive programming. There you can take live classes. These are free live classes. And if you are not able to take the live classes, it's okay. You know, no need to worry. You can also watch their recorded sessions. And who is going to teach you? The top educators is going to teach you there who are already toppers of ACM ICPC. I hope if you are interested in competitive programming, you know what is ICPC. It is one of the oldest and the most prestigious programming contest in the world. And these are also working in the top companies like Google, Amazon, Flipkart. They'll teach you how to approach a given problem, how to solve that problem. And if you like their free classes, then you can go for their paid subscription. The detail is over here. If you use my code, then you will get 10% discount. Now, what is the benefit of uh, going for their paid courses? You will get a proper structured course to learn competitive programming. And as well as you can see upcoming classes like on what date, at what time the next class would be conducted. So it's better to take benefit of these free classes. And if you like it, you can go for their paid subscription. So if you are interested, I'll provide you with all the details and the link of this course in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. Now let us discuss the benefits of doing competitive programming. The very first thing is what you will become stronger at your data structure and algorithm concepts. You will be good at applying these data structures and algorithms like which kind of data structure would be used to solve this kind of problem which is best to use, which data structure is best to use, which algorithm is best to use to solve this problem. So it will clear your fundamentals as well as the advanced level of data structure and algorithmic concepts. And you know that DSA concepts are very crucial at the time of job interview. They focus on more DSA concepts. They ask uh, you from questions from data structure, basic data structure and algorithms, not very advanced if you are a fresher, right? So. It will help you to get stronger in the DSA concepts. Second is it helps you to prepare very well for your coding interview or your technical interview, right? Because the problems they ask in coding interview are of very low, low level. Then the problem you solve when you do competitive programming. So you can crack any coding interview easily if you do competitive programming and if you have a decent level of understanding of competitive programming, right? Next is. It will teach you how to solve the complicated problems, the more complex problems because the problems in competitive programming after a level are very tough or very difficult. You have to think very well. Sometimes it may take even many hours or even one day or two days to solve a given type of problem. You, The problem is given, it's like a story type of problem. You have to first of all understand that problem. Then you will divide the problem, you can say uh, subdivide the problem into smaller problems and then you solve that problem. So these are very complex type of problems. It is true that if you are applying for a software developer post or software engineer post, then they don't uh, require that you have extensive knowledge of algorithms and data structures. Yeah, they want that you have good understanding of DSA concepts. But by practicing the work that is harder than you actually do, it's always be beneficial because if you need to work on a difficult uh, problem or a difficult assignment, then you can easily work on that. So it's always good to solve, to have ability to solve more complex problems, to get practice to solve these kind of problems. Fourth is you will also come to know new and different ways to solve complex problems because you have to think the complex are very, uh, the problems are very uh, difficult, right? So you have to solve that problem because you are in competition if you are participating in contest and these kind of competitions and as well as there is a deadline. So by hook or crook you have to solve that problem. So at that time you will think in all directions. So new ways, new uh, ideas will come into your mind how to solve that problem, right? 
and as well as it will teach you patience because sometimes the problem is very tough and maybe it will take many hours or maybe it can take one day or two days so you try solving that problem without giving up so it will teach you the patience also so it will teach you how to struggle you learn how to struggle with complex problems for long without giving up next is it will make you a faster and focused coder or disciplined coder right because see there is some deadline also you have to complete those problems within that time limit to win that competition so definitely it will increase your speed and you will have to be more focused to think how to solve that problem which data structure which, al which algorithm is best to use to solve these kind of problems right next is it will teach you to write correct code a bug free code to solve a particular problem right the code obviously the code should be correct i'm not saying that a clean code i'm saying a correct code right we will also discuss uh, some drawbacks of uh, doing this competitive programming also what skills you don't what skills competitive programming don't teach you that also we'll discuss but it will teach you to write correct code not clean code next is you have to deliver you have to write down you have to solve the problem under pressure so it will give you the ability to deliver results under pressure in a stressful condition because obviously it is a competition and you want to win everybody wants to win and there is a deadline also within that time limit you have to solve those problems so a pressure is there on you so in that stressful uh, situation under that pre pressure you have to work you have to solve that problem you have to deliver the results so it will increase the ability of yours to deliver the results under pressure next is you will get referral easily if you are a suppose if you are a 6 star coder 7 star coder or if you have a decent level in competitive programming then also you will get referral easily because referrals are required why if you are in tier 3 college so in that colleges generally the big companies the big giant companies do not visit they don't come for the on campus on campus placement you have to try for off campus and there the very first thing is what to get interview call R right so for that one way is to get referrals if somebody refers you then they'll call you and after that it's up to you you have to show your skills so if you are very good in competitive programming or if you have a decent level then you will get referral easily because the person knows yeah you have problem solving capabilities right you have something in your resume you have something you are something so they'll refer you easily right and after that obviously if you are in good in competitive programming then it's not very tough for you to crack their coding interviews their technical interview round fine but see it is not the only way to get a job to get referral yeah it is one way if you are in good in competitive programming it is just one way if you are not into this field and you have very good resume you have uh, worked on good some good projects and you have done some internship then also you will get referral it's okay don't worry so if you have some experience in competitive programming what it will show you can solve complex problems you can uh, work in stressful condition you can work under pressure you can manage time and deadline you can write bug free code like you can minimize errors you are a focused uh, coder you are a disciplined coder you are fast and these skills are indispensable these are going to help you to get a good job right and see if you participate in these kind of contest in coding contest and you have a good profile like 6 star coder 7 star coder or some good rank or maybe if you participate in icpc in that case what companies do companies keeping track of these kind of events these kind of contest right and they search the talented people they will approach you at that time if you are very good they'll give you job offer they'll approach you so these are some benefits but what competitive programming will not teach you is what first thing is what it will not teach you how to write clean code maintainable code that is where required in software development field right but obviously it will help you if you are a good competitive programmer you are into this field and if you will switch to software development field it is going to help you right next thing what it will not teach you is how to work on large code bases and that exactly that's exactly you need you have to work on large code bases if you are into this uh, software development field but that is not that competitive programming is not going to teach you third thing is it will not teach you how to use modern tools and technologies nowadays technology is changing rapidly many tools are coming in the market many technologies are there but what is there in competitive programming you just have to write code using the, those dsa concepts 
you are not habitual of using new new tools and new new technologies right and next is what it is not going to teach you the you know uh, the design patterns that are required if you are applying for a software developer or software engineer post but that's okay everything is having their pros and cons and that's what competitive program is also having so that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care